Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Last time we left off, if you have not seen it, go watch it. It's pretty intense and we learned some stuff about the beginning episodes that we didn't know. Now we know how everyone got their head decapitated by the magic ribbons. The ribbons that are all the people from the, the Puddin' and Pie wear, they cannot talk. They cannot say anything or else if they take it off, their heads get decapitated. So we need to go talk to Beauty and Beast because they went to the Crooked Man for some money. Now they're in trouble. And Snow is now the headmistress and everyone's just going crazy. And Bigby's just still recovering from his match with Bloody Mary. So let's go back to the Wolf Among Us. Let's bash in the door right now. Not. Let's knock. Oh. What do you want? Well, here to help. You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? It's, you know, Bigby. Hi. Uh, you don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? What does that even... What? Uh oh, okay. It's your yeah, pal, open, open Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can Someone's having a tizzy private? bit. Yes, let's. All right, well, while they're going and talking about their marriage problems... I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I'm gonna... I'm gonna look around. Talk about living in the past. Haha, <laughs> classic fairy tales. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Why did I? Why did I knock on their wood? I don't know. Do Bigby's weird. This out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our Earn. own. You didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money. <laughs> I'm gonna break That's something, and then Beast is gonna throw me out of the window. We'll I know what the electric bill is for that thing. To talk to Bigby. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Very expensive. Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do. We so, should deal with uh, this on our own. Good. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. If you're honest, I don't know I'll protect if it's you. You might be nice. If you so can't give us certain too. assurances, I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just then tell, tell me, me what's truth. going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not <laughs> a lot of work out there. Oh my gosh. Who would we be you if guys. we just lived like... <laughs> like normal people? That's a really old phone. Someone answer it.
Uh, let oh me my just. Oh uh, A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come we'll to finish the this right conversation now, so first. I should get that. We'll come get on. Back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. <laughs> Is that on the phone? Time, I'm making a house call. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his one way or another. The crooked man's like the mafia. All I care about times is how can I find the because he's a mythical creature. Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Just like pond. the picture. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Have you seen the crooked man? Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. The Jersey Devil. I can oh. see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a what? display case. I guess he's Bloody Mary sellers too. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta um, understand, I need it work. Was it drugs? I want to think it was drugs. That's too simple. Like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. All right. I don't want well, my help to have quit. to work. Is Mary always there? She was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. Oh geez. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to. <laughs> Probably not. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes Oof. sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I think I have a choice to make here. Um, 
Okay. Lucky Pawn, Butcher Shop. Lucky Pawn, Butcher Shop. Where do I go? You know the that butcher, butcher Shop, shop the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. That you know that so... Butcher Shop, the cut above. Okay, yes, the thing yes. Is, yes, I get it, I get it, I get it. Lucky Pawn, yeah. that's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. You know that butcher shop. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed. Do I go to the butcher? No, I don't want to go to the lucky pawn. Lucky yeah. pawn. Yes. That's All right, guys. What should I do? Money. Let me know in the comments. Lucky the pawn. Butcher you know shop. Butcher shop. I think I'm gonna go to the lucky butcher pawn. shop because the money. it just sounds more sinister. You know like, what shop. are they putting in the, the packages? The is it is, wolf meat? I, I have no clue. Is it is it gummy bears? But we're gonna go and you know that find shop, out right now because that's where I'm going. The thing sounds is, creepy. I sounds don't cool. Think I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I oh, guess crap. I'll find out. Crap! Why did I do that then? Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man. But is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would you mean cover really for you. appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to make a lot of decisions with like the pig, with Beauty and the Beast, and and probably the frog family. Maybe even Snow. Maybe even for myself. I have no clue. Um, this is getting crazy. Lots and lots of stakes are at stake right now. Lots of people's lives are at stake. So, a cut above butcher shop. Here we go. Hopefully, we made the right decision. I'm going to keep smoking. Alright, peeps. Let's let's go around. What is in here? Cold drinks? Yeah, I'll need to restock. Let's see what's on the menu. Sandwich arcs. Kilbasa? What's in here? This is like the suckiest yeah, booster shop in the world. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Okay. Bye. This place is dead. Let's go in the back. Do I... You know what? I think it's underground. Wolf? Like there's a <clears throat> something underground yeah, welcome, going Sheriff. on. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. Crap, 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 lots of crap. Oh, I can have it's all some frozen, so it's crap. Tomorrow, if you like. Where's Bloody Mary? Uh, sirloin. Beast delivers ribs, from here. Roast, What's going on here? Tongue. Got some tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> I'll ask again <laughs> before I break your face. What you see is what you get. Just meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. Good. I, Sheriff, I. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm oh sorry. you mother effer. I, I, I just saw gotta that. go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. 
Butcher? I just have to go see. And yeah, he's making a run for it, so come on, Big B. Go, Shit. go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Here's all the meat. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Um, this is creepy. Beyond creepy. I'm scared. Can we leave Big B, please? I'm not saying nothing because I want to stay hidden. Look, can, can you come back tomorrow, baby? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. This is a lot of meat, dude. Hey, no one's buying it. It's probably getting bad. Gonna keep staying quiet. Gonna keep staying quiet. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Who, Bloody Mary? <laughs> He's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? huh? To scare you. Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. I want to kill you. Please. Please don't kill me. Ah, uh, you know please we're friends. Please don't kill me. But I gotta slap you. Shut the fuck up. <coughs> I said slap him, not choke his face. <coughs> what the fuck are you hiding back there? <coughs> You, you, you're a monster, a fucking monster. Why are you I doing this? I am the this? big bad wolf. I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. There all would right, be all the right, day. All right, all right. Big B Wolf would walk through my door. Uh, let's and listen. Catch help. Shh. Anything else? No, we have to open it. All right, everyone, cross your fingers. Hopefully, we don't get ambushed. Oh my gosh, it's one of these things. Show sure muscles. Um, Breaking Bad? Meth Lab? Wait a second, is this where they're making the illegal... I think that this is where they're making the illegal uh, spells. Maybe, if I'm, if I'm right. No, the illegal spells were made by that witch. Nosebleed? What the f- What? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. Run. Great. It's business. It's all I've ever had. Help them escape. Damn, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been. Well, they kind of did it in me. secret, so I wouldn't you, you know. You think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. 
I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. What? So they are. So this is what those. Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Uh, what's in this tubble tubble thingy? It's magic. -y. I want it. Clever colors. Shackles. Jeez. Bloody shackles. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. He has he has his fingers and everything in Fable Town. Crooked Man is like the lead the ringleader of everything bad. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. Huh. Looks like math or something. It looks like a bunch of code. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh, yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on. It's enslaving fables. It's the pudding and pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's. he's enslaving fables. And my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. You know, Crane knew all about it. Ah. Uh... Yeah. What about Crane? If this all, I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. need the glass sliver. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm the surprised that you ever need to leave the office. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The pawn shop. The lucky pawn. They probably Gosh, that everything's gonna be gone because I came here. The lucky pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are. I let you live. Wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives? I got a little hot. And, uh, son of a... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this no. stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life them. looking over my shoulder your own. bloody we'll find a way to protect you. They won't find care a way to, that I'll I find a way to protect everybody. Hand. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. Mm-hmm. 
like I am for everyone. Well, the mystery behind the butcher shop is finally uncovered. Sorry, man, the business is closed for good. Well, let's go to the Lucky Pond and find out what we could. I actually like choosing because that makes me want to play again. Um, if I did go to the Lucky Pond first, I might not have wanted to go or needed to go to the butcher shop and or maybe if I did I don't know but I'm glad I did because now I know a lot of extra stuff that I probably would not have known if I went only to the pawn shop all right I'll keep on Jersey don't don't give me that shit what the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna ah. Jack, what the fuck is going on but you I'm a, just kind of guy to keep I, shit in order. Yeah, and Jack. that's it, Woody. If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <laughs> he just runs off. I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was st So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Damn. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with oh, it? Oh, come on, Woodsman. How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna restrain the Jersey Devil. Lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them? Hookers? Don't touch me. Or are you done? Don't touch me. Your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I'm gonna break I your just face. Want what's mine. Woods, my axe. I'm doing this because I'm your friend. But I don't right? think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get You do of not. Me? Oh, okay. You ain't All so right. tough. What? I'm just gonna handle you myself. Ah, you fuck! Oh, Screw you. I'm gonna break your face with these needles. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, fight him. dog. You got a lot of nerve. Oh, God, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I need some help here.
Oh crap, do I decide right now? The magic mirror's oh, okay. missing He's shard. Good. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Well, good. Finally, you tell me something. That Just go here. on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna end right here. That was a crazy fight. I cannot believe that we just fought the Jersey Devil. And I wasn't expecting him to turn into that creepy thing, but that's what he is. He's like a, a freaking bull mixed with a dog, mixed with a, a jackal. I don't know. He's creepy as hell. And I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more gameplay videos and The Wolf Among Us as I upload them. I'm looking at these pockets. I'm mattering the, the satin stitching on Crane's awesome jacket. Until next time, everybody, I will see you then. But, um... Peace.